back to the Haney Biz Project with host Mark Haney. All right, all right, all right. Welcome back to the Haney Biz Project, brought to you courtesy of Sun System Technology. I'm Mark Haney, and today I am joined by James Beckwith, the CEO of Five Star Bank, the Entrepreneur's Bank. How you doing, James? I'm doing great, Mark. Thank you for having me uh, on the Haney Biz Project. You bet. I appreciate uh, that, and thank you for your support of the entrepreneurial community. Now, your mantra is, or one of your mantras is, you are the entrepreneur's bank. What's, what's that mean to us? Well, you know, from a broader perspective, we really want to see this community grow. We want to see this community and the businesses within it add high-paying jobs, highly valued jobs. And we want to see those entrepreneurs really pursue their dreams and passions uh, to do what they should be doing, to, yeah. to grow their business, to hire people. Uh, to be influential, and just improve the quality of life of our great region. Well, and they need access to capital in so many, uh, in many situations, and you need a place to, to, to bank. And you guys um, at Five Star, I am a customer, and I was, uh, was kind of contemplating with Shelly from your office last night. It's like, I could talk about Five Star and the customer-driven business uh, culture that exists there. I could talk about it. I could talk about it all day long, but maybe you can give us a sense as to what do you do to build this culture that is so good for uh, guys like me, us entrepreneurs? Well, it starts with a mindset. Uh, it starts with a mindset of understanding uh, our customers, trying to put ourselves in the shoes of our customers in terms of, you know, what's, where's their pain? How can we help solve their problem? Yeah. It really starts with empathy. Yeah. And and if we can get ourselves in that mindset and all of our people are trained that way and they come in with that attitude uh, every day, every morning, is how can I help somebody? Yeah. And that's really where it comes from. It's from the heart. Um, it's, it's really driven by the belief if our customers do well, we're going to do well. Yeah. And it all works out in the end. So when I, uh, when I go into Five Star, um, I, I walk in. I don't go in there that often because my, uh, you know, my, my team does the banking. But occasionally I've gone in there. And when I deal with the team, I feel, um, I feel special. I walk, even though I'm walking up to the counter, uh, and it's like, oh, Mr. Haney, thank you. you know, they're, they're really happy that I have, have that. And I'm just thinking that way of thinking um, of helping the customer to succeed that starts at the top. Does that mean? Absolutely. It starts with our board of directors. We're all local. They're all local business people, entrepreneurs. They are. They all started with not much, and they built something mm -hmm. over their over their lifetimes and their careers. Uh, they understand risk. They understand how to give back to the community, um, and it just kind of flows from there and down to uh, staff. Uh, and down to the folks that you see when you come into one of our offices. You know, Mark, we don't have that many customers, okay? We're not a big mega bank, multinational bank. We've got uh, probably, I'm going to say, about 1,500 relationships. That means we can concentrate our efforts on those 1,500 relationships in a very intimate way to really uh, uh, understand what their needs are and really deliver and exceed their expectations. And you're not a small business, but what you're saying is uh, being smaller isn't always a uh, disadvantage like we, one might think. Absolutely. You know, we can turn on a dime. <laughs> yeah. All right. If, if somebody needs something, you know, we we get it done. Well, what's the appetite right now? We're going to be talking. We're going to be breaking some news here in a couple of minutes. That uh, so I won't spill the beans on, on that right now. But what's the appetite right now uh, in Sacramento? Right, there's a lot of entrepreneurial seeds being planted, and as these start to grow, that's when you you begin to need some financing. So I'm just wondering, what's the appetite feel like uh, in terms of needing uh, small business loans right now for you guys? Demand's really strong. It's go time for a lot of okay. people. Um, a lot of folks that are uh, in the downtown core up here uh, in the, in the, uh, the Placer Market, South Placer Markets, over in El Dorado County, uh, down in Elk Grove. Uh, it's go time. People are looking to grow. Uh, the economy looks great right now. Uh, the Central Valley certainly has come back. Um, and we are getting some spillover effect from the, from, uh, the Bay Area. Mm -hmm. uh, but we think that uh, the growth aspects of, um, of our region, of our capital region, are very strong. 
Well, we're going to cut you a break. We're going to make this a short segment because the next segment, we're going to keep you on as we break this news because you are a part of the news. And so we're going to be bringing on uh, Mr. Josh Wood, uh, Region Business, along with Pat Hume of uh, the city of Elk Grove. And we're going to break some news that has to do with making access to capital a whole heck of a lot easier. And it starts right here in Sacramento, something very innovative beginning right here in Sacramento. Join the revolution at HaneyBiz.com, courtesy of Audi Rockland. This is the Haney Biz Project.